Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. We've been doing some how-to videos looking at the VSDC free video editor. I've done a series looking at the basic features of the editor and how to splice audio, video, add effects, text, things like that. So if you want a general overview, please refer to those videos because today's how-to video is looking at a very specific question that someone on my channel asked me and that was, how do I change the audio volume at a particular point during the audio playback? So how do I make it softer at a certain point? So let's go ahead and show today in this video how to do that. So the first thing I need to do, I've already opened the editor here and I'm going to go into audio. I'm going to add some royalty free music here by Kevin and it's going to start from the beginning and there it is now let's say I've determined on the timeline I've listened to it and let's say I'm going to move my cursor in the timeline right here to where I want to adjust the volume over here this would change the volume up or down to the entire piece. But again, we just want a specific part of the audio. So what I'm gonna do is go up to audio effects and I'm gonna go up to amplitude and I'm gonna to go to amplify. I'm gonna click on that. Now I'm gonna click on manual position. So this is saying that five seconds into the music is when I wanna make an adjustment. Now I need to change the duration here because it's showing me the duration of the entire piece and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna say that for five seconds, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna change that a little bit, clean it up. So five seconds in to the music, I'm going to make an adjustment that's going to last five seconds. I'm going to click on OK, and there it is on the timeline. Okay, right here, this affects the audio volume. So it usually starts out at zero. And so from zero, I can make it louder. Say I could take it four. Now, even though it says amplify, I can also use this to subtract and make it quieter by putting a negative sign and it will look like that. So that's how you would do it. Now, let's say that you do it and it's soft, it goes softer, or louder too quickly and you want a more gradual increase or quietness. That's what this little thing here this is saying, this straight line is saying, I, for the duration of this time, five seconds, I want it to be a constant four decimals quieter. Now, if you don't want that, you could go in and say, well, I want it to start at zero, and I want it to gradually get to negative four. That's what this is. That's a linear parameter change. So that's more of a gradual thing. Where do you want it to start? And where do you want it to stop? That's how to do it. I'm not gonna play that effect for you because I'm not sure how well the mic would, would pick up the change in volume. So I'm not gonna do that uh, during the video, but that's how you would apply that effect. There are a lot of other different ways that you can adjust the volume anywhere throughout the piece. If you wanted a gradual fade out, of course, you could go into uh, amplitude and you could fade in or out, or you could even silence it. But that's how, again, you would do it, is you would pick a point on the timeline, where do you want that effect to start and when and how long is it gonna last? and then you apply it, and then over here in the properties window is how you adjust it. So in any case, I hope that helps. 
let me know how that works for you. But that again is a tutorial of how to adjust the volume at a specific point during your audio presentation. So thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. If you have a question, I'll do my best to answer it. I'm sure there are other people. If you have a question, there are other people on here that probably have the same question. And if I don't have the answer, then other people can chime in and give their perspective. So that's kind of how the YouTube community works, which is why it's so awesome. So check out my other videos. And I hope to see you again here sometime soon.